Hi everyone, and welcome. Today, we are going to learn how to create a VLOOKUP formula in Excel. In order to create a VLOOKUP, a drop down list is of better use in Excel. This is a great way to control data entry and make your spreadsheets more user friendly. Let's get started with list first and then move ahead with VLOOKUP. First, we need to create our source list. This is where we'll put the options that will appear in the drop down from the column A, where you see number one in red color. The items underneath is list of states in India, specifically Tamil Nadu. First, select the cells where you want your drop down lists to appear. This is where users will choose an option. I have selected cell F4. Now, go to the Data tab on the Excel ribbon. In the Data Tools group, you'll find Data Validation. Click on it. This opens the Data Validation dialog box. Here's where the magic happens. Under the Settings tab, in the Allow drop down, choose List. Now, in the Source box, we need to select the cells to tell Excel what options should be in the drop down. You can select cell numbers, a 3 to a 29. This is the reference to a range of cells where you've already typed the options. This is usually a cleaner approach among all other options. Click OK. And there it is. A drop-down list in your selected cells. Users can now click the arrow and choose from the options you provided. We are going to learn how to use VLOOKUP in Excel. VLOOKUP is a powerful function that lets you find specific information in a table. We'll be using it to look up product taluka based on their districts on the same sheet. Here, we have a table of district information. Column A has the district, column B has the taluka, column C has the sub-district and column D has town. We want to be able to select a district here and have the taluka automatically appear here. We'll use VLOOKUP to do that. Let's say we select a district in this cell F4 and we want the price to show up in the cell F7. First, select the cell where you want the taluka to appear in cell F7. This is where we'll enter our VLOOKUP formula. Now, type the following formula, is equal to VLOOKUP, F4A3, D29, 2, false. Let's break it down. F4 is the lookup value. It's the district we are searching for. This is what we select from list. 83. D29 is the table array. It's the range of cells containing our district data. If you are trying on your table, make sure to adjust this range to match your actual table. 2 is the column index number. It tells VLOOKUP which column in our table to return the value from. Since the taluka is in the second column, we use 2. False means we want an exact match. VLOOKUP will only return the price if it finds the exact product code. Here it is. Double check your result by changing the district name from the list. There are more than 5 ways of working with VLOOKUP formula. Those can make your life much easier and work faster than you think. Contact me here if you want to view a video on that.